I want to discuss with you two approaches to costing today. And what do I mean by costing? I want to arrive at the total cost of making a particular unit. One way of arriving at that cost is to take into account all the variable costs involved in production. What are variable costs? Costs which change with every unit of output. What does that mean? Say for example, I'm making this phone that is, you know, kept next to me. I need material, I need raw material to make the phone. I need a worker to work on making the phone. So there is direct material involved, there is direct labor involved and then there are other direct expenses which are involved in making the phone. These costs are variable. Why? Because with every additional unit produced, you have to incur material cost again, you have to incur labor cost again and you have to incur the direct expenses again. So variable costs are costs that change with every unit of output produced. Now. There is one approach to costing which says that if you want to arrive at the cost of the product, consider only the variable or the marginal costs. That is, you will take into account only the variable expenses like direct material, direct labor, direct expenses and other related items. The second approach to costing is known as the absorption costing approach. Now, what is the difference between the two? The absorption costing approach says that you include the variable costs in the, in the cost structure, but along with that, you also take into account a share of the total fixed cost that was incurred in making this item. What does that mean? Say for example, what is a fixed cost? You need to understand that first. Fixed cost is any cost that remains fixed or unchanged over a certain range of output. For example, I have a warehouse or I have my factory premises and I am being rent for my factory premises. Now, whether I produce one unit, two units or a thousand of them, I will still keep on incurring the same amount of factory rent. This cost remains unchanged or fixed over a certain level of output and it is your fixed cost. What does the absorption costing approach say? It says that even the fixed costs have to be calculated and included in the overall product cost. Now assume that your total rent for the month is 1 lakh rupees and you have produced 10,000 units in the month. So under the absorption costing approach, you calculate the total rent divided by the total number of units and you will arrive at the fixed cost per unit. Now what you should do under the absorption costing approach is that you should include the fixed cost as a part of the product cost so you take the total of your variable cost to that you add your fixed cost and the amount that you arrive at is your total cost it includes not just the variable cost but also the fixed cost absorbed per unit this approach to costing is known as the absorption costing approach so to quickly summarize the two, under the marginal costing approach, you include only the variable costs when you are calculating the product cost. Under the absorption costing approach, you include the variable costs also and you include the fixed cost also and there you arrive at the total cost of the product.